Hi, I'm Jim from Quantum. Let's have a look at the new Blindshell Classic 2. The phones had some developments in the previous version, the main one being the big screen at the top with night bold letters, battery indicator, and carrier settings, and it is available for connection to Wi-Fi. In the middle is a keypad with all the different function buttons. On the bottom, the keypad. Keypad's pretty good because it's got a nice little lump on the five button, so it's really quite easy to find. Um, the confirm button is green on the left-hand side, and on the right-hand side is a diagonal slope, uh, which is for the back button or exit button. The two up and down ones here are ways to control through the menu functions. So if you push the down button there, one you can of go seven through the messages. various menus that are available. Two of seven. And as you can see, it um, talks to you every time it goes through one of the functions. On the left-hand side of the phone is a volume up and down button. And on the right-hand side of the phone is a programmable button where you can have up to five different functions programmed to there for ease of access. Um, on the top is a headphone jack and a flashlight. On the back, there's an eight megapixel camera, an SOS button you can program to the number of your choice. The RFID reader is in the middle of the back of the phone there. And you can it comes with a couple of tags that you can add various items to so you can get them to beep. It does have a new battery, so it's a little bit thicker, um, and it has a USB-C port. The menu function is quite easy, so if you want to get into something, say we're on messages right now, so we might as well go there. Write SMS to contact. And then you just scroll one to the of, different write ones. Write SMS to number. Two Each of one of them six. has a number, so you can go quickly to that item if you if you want. To get out, you just push this diagonal slope button. The best thing about it is the voice control system on this, and it makes it easier for making phone calls or writing text message. So what you do is just turn on the side, push and hold. I listen after a beep. Call Quantum. Call Quantum. Dialing Quantum. And it's as quick as that for making a phone call, so it's much easier. You don't have to actually see um, the numbers you're dialing. 15, of course, 21. you can dial the numbers in there if you want by just pushing the keys. Number four, seven. But that's a little bit longer. To write an MS SMS, there's two ways to do that. You can go scroll Call. down Messages. until you get to manage. Two of seven. Select. Write SMS to contact. Select. Balance and recharge. One of customer care. These are numbers two that are stored nine. into the phone. Optus so let's send service. one to um, Three Optus. Of nine. Text. And you can either type the message in, which takes a bit of time, or you can use the voice control button on the side. Say hello. Hello. Send message. And as you one see, it three. confirms before it sends it, but then it's often done. And the one is to use is one of the applications you could download and install there. One I got done earlier was Google Lookout. So if you just click activate that Help. and hold over some text, it'll start charging. Reading. The phone can be charged via a USB cable or charging cradle. And to Google it, Lookout. Just three push six. the diagonal slope button and it'll go back to the main screen. The Blind Shell 2 is a very nice phone, makes good quality phone calls, easy to use, and the nice big screen makes it easy to see items on the screen, as well as the tactile buttons. Uh, you should be able to move around the menus and the keypad with relative ease. Hope you enjoy it.